Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Tatami, and here I talk about whatever I want to. And today I want to talk about how the color black is so often associated with evil, symbolically just, you know, designated to the evil, the dark realm, whatever. Dark is also just automatically designated as evil. Um, this thought came about because last night I saw a post by Paris Milan on her channel, her community page on the channel here on YouTube. Paris Milan, quick side note, is a really wonderful YouTuber who focuses on the issues that dark-skinned black women face in the community and in the global world. And, you know, it's a very empowering place for dark skinned women. And, um, I think it's an important place for not dark skinned women, whether you're a man, whether you're a light skinned black woman, whether you're not black at all, um, for us to also participate, learn the issues that black women are facing, um, that dark skinned black women are facing, um, and you know, thereby learn ways to support and help alleviate the anti blackness that so many face in our everyday lives. So, it's one of my favorite channels on YouTube for that. Um, I like the Chrissy channel also. Um, so, because of their subject matter, usually those types of places are kind of the more progressive thoughts that I find on YouTube from black women um, who are kind of pushing the boundaries on things. So that was why I was really surprised when I found a video. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm talking and my, um, I'm not plugged in at all. Like I have this, um, my, like not plugged in. Okay. Hey, it started. Okay, so um, she posted this really amazing piece of picture of some art. And the artwork was somebody had taken the, you know, acrylic braiding hair and it was like purple and she'd braided all this and then she'd taken those braids and like glued them onto a mannequin. And then on the mannequin, she put like the eyelashes and it was a very beautiful and inspiring piece. It was using things that any black woman would identify with and kind of making it her own, her own sculpture, her own piece of work. And, um, Paris shared it for that reason. Somebody had sent it to her and she liked it, wanted to know who made it. I can't remember their name. It started with an M, like MV something. Um, I, I'll put the link below though. I'll go look it up before I, you know, upload this video. Um, but the comment section was so disappointing because everybody was just like, this doesn't sit right with my spirit, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, why? Why doesn't it sit right with your spirit? Because the eyes were black and the mouth was kind of dark. I think more due to the shadows than to like intentional darkening to make it look sewn shut. I think it was the way that the the weave kind of like fell on the, the mannequin when she glued it maybe. But I found it very beautiful, inspiring to use these items. I was clearly in the minority. Um, the majority were going very much with Christian symbolism. This is kind of devilish. Uh, there's something about the darkness of the eyes, the black of the eyes. The eyes are blacked out. Um, and it made me so sad to see, you know, this group of black women who usually really is so keen on catching things like that to kind of fall susceptible to it but I do think that that's that Christianity that is coming into play where we've been really honed and trained into seeing black a certain way light a certain way you know white a certain way and um this is a main reason why on my page spiritual black girls I do not let people say like black magic dark magic and mean evil because it's it's colonizer language it's like a way of continuing to separate if you'll notice even in the pagan realms African traditional religions are seen as taboo as evil um Wiccans have made that rule 
rule of three and try and like weaponize it against the rest of us like oh you're defending yourself well rule of three whatever you do comes back and it's like somebody came at me and I sent it back let's be real we don't have the rule of three and so people try and paint that as us being immoral or like we have no rules or we have nothing guiding us and that's nothing can be further from that truth and um I really don't like it but it just was like wow watching this go down people being like this don't sit right with my spirit and I'm like don't sit right with your spirit for somebody to use something that you like know to your core and make a piece of art out of it another black woman like it would make me so sad if I had made that art and then seeing all those comments when somebody shared my piece and was trying to uplift me and then everybody was like mm -mm, this is the devil and it's just it's tiring it's like the that devil talk that it's all black it's evil talk is exactly why i don't even adhere to i mean it's not exactly why but it's a large reason why as a young woman i started to really back up from christianity because i was like this can't be my path this can't be right for me um like there has to be some way where i'm called to do something else and you know being able to get into the you know kind of renaissance of the african traditional religion movement as it's reclaimed has shown me that i was definitely right to leave christianity behind and try something else um but i just wish more black women would do it i wish more indigenous women would do it i wish more indigenous you know people in general would return to our old religions not just hold christianity on this pedestal would understand that um, colonization does not mean our religions were wrong, um, that black people in America came from West Africa, which was one of the last places to, to release our African traditional religions. And it was by force. It was not by, um, us accepting Jesus into our lives for real, um, which it, that came later, you know, that came with the revolutions to throw off the shackles within Africa. Um, but <sighs> It just it did make me really sad to see people just equating black with evil with, uh, you know, and nobody even really realizing they were doing it. These comments had three, four hundred, five hundred likes a piece. Um, very few rebuttaling comments could even be seen because they they just weren't upvoted like that. Um, so I think it just really shows that there is still a huge mentality that a uh, shift that needs to occur where um we realize that some of the, this thinking is colonizer thinking is indoctrinated thinking and we're able to kind of throw off those shackles all right so you have a great day or night and may your ancestors and spirit guides be with you at every crossroads